In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to connect a Jaspersoft report to a Spotfire information link. The first thing you'll need to do is go into the Spotfire desktop application and open up the information designer. Inside of the information designer, you'll need to make sure you have a working information link. In this example, we'll be using the medical data information link. This information link also offers a parameter. This parameter will allow our end user to choose the blood type from our actual report, and this will filter our data down appropriately. Next, let's take a look at this information link used inside of a Jaspersoft report. Inside of the Jaspersoft Studio tool, we'll need to go and create a data adapter. This is very simple. Simply right click and create a new data adapter. On the data adapter wizard, Give your data adapter a name. Next, choose the appropriate data adapter type. Since we're making a Spotfire information link, we'll choose the Spotfire information link type. In the following dialog, give your information link a new name. Next, you need to paste in the link to your Spotfire server. And of course, add in the appropriate username and password. Also pick the correct Spotfire version you're using. That makes all the difference. After that, you need to choose your actual information link. So click on Browse. This logs into the Spotfire server and shows you all the available information links. Again, we'll be using the medical data information link, so we'll choose that now. In this example, I'll make sure I check the use a query checkbox. This is required if you'd like to use a parameter and we choose to use a parameter in this example. Let's now go and create a new report so I can show you how this information link actually works. Inside our new report, we'll go into the Query Designer and make sure we pick our new data adapter. We'll change our language to Spotfire. And this will now communicate with the Spotfire server and bring back any of the parameters that are available. Double click on that parameter and it now will be available inside of the uh, text box where you can type out what the query will be. In this example, we'll make sure our blood type equals A and we'll read all our fields back from Spotfire. Notice all the fields are now available on the bottom and we can preview our data to make sure everything's working correctly. To make sure that our blood type parameter is working, let's change it from A to O. Again, we'll go and refresh our data and notice how the data now is all brought back with blood type O. Let's now go take a look at a completed project so you can see how you can pass a parameter into the query from a report. Here we're opening our medical data report and opening up the query designer. Notice how I'm passing in a standard Jasper report parameter into the query. By doing that, when I run my report, I'm able to have a parameter, just like you normally would with a Jasper report, available to me to alter the data that comes back. Our parameter blood type is set to A, so our report will bring back data uh, that's appropriate. If I change it to O, as you would expect, our data now comes back with blood type O. This is an example of using a Spotfire information link inside of a Jaspersoft report. Thank you for watching.